click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends we'll be discussing certain details about renewal of bill let's go ahead and figure it out so when we speak about renewal of bill that comes when the bill has been dishonored or if it has passed the expiry date in both of these cases we figure out that there has to be a renewal of bill that has to be done so what we'll be doing is that we'll be jotting down certain points here and understand how the renewal of bill happens so let's go ahead and figure that out now this concept is very simple supposing it happens that the drawer is not able to make the payment and he upfrontly asks for the renewal of bill the entry that has to be passed is the same which is in the case of dishonor of bill now the question comes to us what is the amount of bill that will be mentioned in the renewed bill so there are three case scenarios here first if there is no amount paid during the renewal of bill then in such a scenario the whole amount that means the original amount plus the interest for the extended time period will be added and that will be the amount of the renewed bill second if the interest amount is paid at the time of renewal that means if in a scenario where the renewal date is supposed to come and the interest is already paid for the next credited period that means any few months that are supposed to be taken for the payment of the whole bill and the interest for that specific amount is already paid at the date of the renewal then in such case only the original amount of bill will be mentioned in the renewed bill the third situation refers to part payment that means part payment of either the original amount part payment of either the interest amount until renewal date and or the part payment of both original and interest amount then in such case only the amount that is unpaid will be taken into consideration so whenever it comes to renewal of bill these are the two things that you need to understand or these are the few things that you need to understand regarding the amount of the bill so three situations first being no amount paid then the original amount plus the interest for the extended period has to be taken into consideration if the interest amount is paid up on the date of the renewal then only the original amount will be taken into consideration because the interest for the extended period has been already paid off and if there is part payment of either the original amount or the interest amount or both including then only the unpaid amount is supposed to be taken into consideration so this is what we are to discuss about renewal of bill so thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ekeda and keep subscribing to ekeda